Eugene Stubblefield is really happy with life. I'm on one, you hear me? So. <laughs> and it all started with a piece of paper. I was going to see somebody. They weren't there. And a lady just came out and was just like, before you go, I know it is good program and, and you never know. She was like, just give it a try. She handed him a flyer and on it was information about Mission St. Louis, a local workforce development program. But for Eugene, it was the key to a fresh start. You know, I'm not ashamed to say it. It was, it was uh, that lady had a piece of paper that came from God that brought me to Mission St. Louis. That piece of paper and the one for a new beginning led him to Jason Watson. He's the executive director, and while the group's mission started with education, it would transform into something much bigger. What we realized is that if we really wanted to impact kids, we needed to impact the entire family. We began to build relationships with those students. We started to build relationships with the parents, um, which then led to what's now called our Beyond Jobs program, which focuses on workforce development. Primarily there, what we do is try to connect individuals who are struggling to find employment, to connect them to career opportunities, but more so to provide wraparound services that can move them towards self-sustainability. So far, Mission STL has helped more than 500 people get jobs. But for Watson, it's less about handing people a job application and more about treating people as people. Seeing a person as a person and having value um, is highly connected to employment because it gives you confidence in where you work and why you work as well. Uh, I met Eugene, man. Um, yeah, it's been about four years, and, and it's interesting because um, Eugene has always been just a solid dude. Like some people you meet, and it's just an instant vibe and energy. You know, always been a positive dude. I mean, not, I'm not saying he don't got no, he can tell you his life story. You know, we are, and I got what to tell too. But I'm saying that you you could tell by the time that he had made it to us, he had different situations that had taken place in his life and brought him to a certain point. So what brought Eugene to Mission STL? Well, like anyone, he says he has his own story. You know, I was going through personal and, and, and legal and family situations and I wasn't being responsible enough to step up to the plate and, 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 and live a life that was deserving. Eugene now has a job at a paper company. He's been there for about a year. Like when, when, when the guy from the company interviewed me, when I got through interviewing, he went and told Jason like, yeah, you know, we will interview everybody else, but we letting you know, don't let nobody else get him. Those words meant something. If I could just go back five years and just tell myself that day, I would say, man, aren't you glad you didn't put that piece of paper down? That's the first thing I could look at him and say, like, glad you didn't put that piece of paper down, aren't you? And I look right back at him and say, you better know. Several years, friendships, and a new job later, Eugene says he has a lot to share with his community. As much as we're different, we all got something in common. And as a, as a man and as a black man, that something in common is, is the will and the desire to live. And living is what he plans to do. I'm alive, but I want to live too. I love that I got a purpose now. You know what I'm saying? A purpose he credits to his friend, Jason. <laughs> I love him too. Like, because he looked out for me and he trusted me and he held me accountable. Like, he expected me to, to do good. Now he wants to look out for others. And if he could share any bit of advice, he'd say this. And I hope that I can be an inspiration for some of my guys who's still going through things and who's still in the neighborhoods and who's still struggling and trying to find a way. If they see this, here I go. Whenever they need me and, and, and I'm giving them my word that they, every day I get the best that I can to, to be that example that they knew I could be. For Living St. Louis, I'm Gabrielle Hayes.